Henry VIII was the King of England, born on June 28, 1491. He was the third child and second son of King Henry VII and his wife, Queen Elizabeth of York. His surviving siblings were Arthur, the eldest son of Henry VII and the heir to the English throne, Margaret, who later became the Queen of Scotland, and Mary, who became the Queen of France. Initially, due to his status as the second son, Henry was not considered the heir to the throne. However, in 1502, Arthur, who was the Prince of Wales and the designated heir, passed away due to respiratory illness. In February 1503, Henry was proclaimed the Prince of Wales or the Crown Prince, replacing his older brother. In 1509, upon the death of his father, Henry VIII ascended to the throne. Later, for political reasons, he married Catherine of Aragon, the widow of his late brother. Catherine was the daughter of King Ferdinand II of Aragon and Queen Isabella I of Castile, from the Kingdom of Spain. They had several children, but the only one who survived to adulthood was their daughter, Mary I of England. During his marriage to Catherine of Aragon, Henry was known for his promiscuity and had many mistresses. However, serious problems arose when Henry VIII fell in love with Anne Boleyn, who was a lady-in-waiting to his wife. Henry wanted to divorce Catherine on the grounds that they had not produced a male heir to the throne. He also removed Mary, his daughter, from the line of succession because he wanted to secure the throne for the son he promised to Anne Boleyn. However, the Pope refused to annul his marriage and rejected all his requests. This triggered a prolonged succession crisis, which eventually led to the separation of the Church of England from the Roman Catholic Church and the creation of the new Church of England, with Henry as its leader. After making every effort, on January 25, 1533, Henry officially married Anne Boleyn. However, a few years after marrying Anne Boleyn, Henry decided to execute his second wife. It seems that Henry was deeply disappointed because Anne failed to fulfill her promises. Anne could only give birth to a daughter, who later became Queen Elizabeth I. Additionally, Henry accused Anne of adultery with multiple men, engaging in incestuous relationships, and practicing witchcraft, which resulted in his intense obsession with her. Anne Boleyn was executed on May 19, 1536, in the Tower of London, England. Eleven days after Anne's execution, Henry appeared deeply mournful. One might assume such an ending. However, the reality was quite different. Eleven days after Anne's death, on May 30th, Henry married Jane Seymour, who was Anne Boleyn's lady-in-waiting. If you want to know the detailed story of Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn, you can watch the linked video in the description. According to some sources, Henry VIII was attracted to Jane Seymour because she was different from his previous wives. Jane was a woman of calmness, simplicity, and humility. Her gentle and polite demeanor and personality caught Henry's attention. After the scandal and condemnation involving his divorce from Anne Boleyn, Jane came as a figure who helped restore Henry VIII's image. Her presence provided an opportunity for Henry to rebuild his reputation as a king and start anew with a marriage that was considered more stable and traditional. During their marriage, Jane Seymour remained fiercely loyal to Henry. She served the king with unwavering loyalty and became a faithful companion. This loyalty made Henry feel valued and loved, and it helped strengthen the emotional bond between them. And most importantly in this love story, together with Jane Seymour, Henry VIII was able to fulfill his desire to have a son. Jane successfully gave birth to a baby boy on October 15, 1537. The baby was named Edward, who later became Edward VI, the King of England. Henry was overjoyed at the birth of his son. Unfortunately, the love story and happiness of Henry VIII did not last long. Jane Seymour passed away on October 24, 1537, just nine days after giving birth to their son. Henry VIII was deeply devastated by Jane Seymour's death. Jane was the wife he loved wholeheartedly, and he greatly valued and relied on her presence. Losing Jane was a significant emotional blow to Henry and he experienced profound grief for two years before eventually deciding to marry Anne of Cleves for political reasons. Anne of Cleves, a German princess from a royal family, was considered a potential candidate. Henry heard reports describing Anne's beauty and decided to meet her. However, when Henry VIII met her for the first time in Rochester, he was disappointed because Anne's appearance did not meet his expectations. 
Based on the paintings and descriptions he received, he expected extraordinary beauty, but he found Anne to be rather plain. Nevertheless, Henry VIII decided to proceed with the marriage to Anne of Cleves for political reasons. Their marriage took place on January 6, 1540, but it lasted only six months. Henry felt incompatible with Anne, and his reluctance to spend time with his new wife worsened the situation. Eventually, Henry VIII decided to annul his marriage to Anne of Cleves in July 1540, claiming that the marriage was invalid because they had not consummated it. Anne willingly accepted the annulment and received the title of, the king's beloved sister, and a suitable allowance as compensation. Henry VIII and Anne of Cleves maintained a good relationship afterward. Anne remained in England and received recognition as the former queen. Henry even provided her with a residence and gifts as a gesture of respect. Shortly after annulling his marriage with Anne of Cleves, Henry married Catherine Howard. Catherine Howard was the cousin of Anne Boleyn, Henry VIII's second wife. At that time, Catherine was a young girl of around 19 years old, while Henry was already over 40. They first met in 1540 when Catherine was appointed as a lady-in-waiting to Henry's fourth wife, Anne of Cleves. Yes, of course, the old story repeats itself. Although Henry was still married to Anne of Cleves, the relationship between Henry and Catherine developed into a secret romance. They frequently met behind the scenes and maintained an intimate relationship without the public's knowledge. Henry VIII married Catherine Howard on July 28, 1540. Their marriage began in a joyful atmosphere, but the significant age and life experience difference between them played a role in their marital dynamics. Not long after the marriage, Catherine's secret life was revealed. It was proven that she had previous relationships with other men before marrying Henry. This scandal shook the court and Catherine's reputation as queen. Henry felt deeply humiliated and angered by what he considered a serious betrayal. Henry VIII decided to divorce Catherine Howard. On January 22, 1541, she was accused of adultery against her husband and stood trial. Catherine was found guilty and sentenced to death by beheading on February 13, 1542, at the young age of 20. Catherine met a tragic end. After being widowed for one year, in 1543, Henry VIII entered his sixth marriage with Catherine Parr. The love story between Henry VIII and Catherine Parr can be characterized as a marriage based on respect and loyalty. Catherine Parr was an educated woman, skilled in arts, music, literature, and had an interest in religion. This allowed her to share intellectual interests with Henry VIII, and they often engaged in discussions and debates. Moreover, Catherine Parr took care of Henry VIII during his difficult times. Henry, who was increasingly sick and obese, relied on Catherine's care and support. She ensured Henry's comfort and happiness and helped him navigate health issues and political matters. Henry's deteriorating health condition made him increasingly inactive, spending more time resting in bed. Eventually, on January 28, 1547, at the Whitehall Palace in London, England, King Henry VIII breathed his last, leaving behind a wife and two daughters. Henry VIII's death marked the end of his long and controversial reign. Although he is known for his controversial decisions and actions, during his time in power, Henry VIII is one of the most influential figures in English history, and his role had a profound impact on the country.